installment of Trails of Cold Steel. This is part five thus far in the series. Uh, picking up where I left off the last time I played, um, I am in Lunaria Nature Park. I very recently had had my butt handed to me by a bunch of sort of ram gorilla type creatures that I don't remember the name of because it's been a couple days since I played that that part and I've got the next part of the nature preserve to go so I've got the map up right now um, you can see that I am I've got uh, basically an arm off to the right to explore and an arm off to the left and then Lunaria Nature Park 3 is um, kind of off to the left and ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and go forward. I have no idea what is going to be coming up. Um, this place, like I said, I've bought some... bought. Wow. I fought some crazy creatures um, so far. Oh, and here is the ram type gorilla guys. Oh my gosh. That looks like a tough one. Be careful. Yeah, let's be careful, alright. Be careful, this one looks strong. Alright, so there's two of them. Um two of them is better than before. Um so we're going to I'm gonna try to motivate first. Let's do this. It, it ups their, their strength. I was going to say attack. Their strength. Um, and then we're going to have... She can't use her other ones. She doesn't have the points for that right now. Um, but she does have some for Firebolt. So we are going to basically gang up on one of these guys. The best we can. Um... I've not used this one before. Hang in there. Let's see what happens. I've not done it. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, nice. And Laura fires off her firebolt. And then we've got our good friend, Elliot. And we're going to do Resounding Beat, which heals and gives us, um, defense. Keep it up, everyone. And hope that that helps. Um, ooh, and she's dizzy, knocked out. These, these guys are rough. Um, doesn't have anything for Firebolt right now. But he can do Leaf Cutter. So, like I said, we're concentrating on this guy, I think, right now. Um, oh, and, okay. I mean, I was thinking my links are broken to my characters. But they seem to be okay. Um, we're going to attack. Or not attack. Uh, she can't use those. So we're going to use the flaming arrow. And we get a link attack. My turn. And Elliot needs some healing. And I went the wrong way. We don't have the stone that he needs to do that at the moment. So we're gonna do resounding beat again. Keep it up, everyone. My turn. And he still can't firebolt. I always check. Sometimes you pick this stuff up. Um, we're going to do leaf cutter on this guy. Actually, we can get both of them. <laughs> Laura's still got Tweety Birds flying around her head. Um, oh, my alarm's going off. Hang on one second. Hi, Steve. Um, I just have to reset this alarm because I have to take my medicine a little later. So I just want to make sure that I have that set for after I'm done streaming. So I remember to do that because I have family in town and I told them I had to take a break and get some time in with my game. 
because um, I am working towards affiliate, as most of my uh, viewers and followers already know. I'm up to 36 out of 50, and I'm working on getting my view times up. Um, I'm about halfway there on my view times, so I'm getting pretty close, but uh, I need that like tenth every day, just kind of keep going every time I stream. So I did say I have to, you know, go hide in a cubby hole for a little while here and there, put my foot up and rest and play my game. So here I am. So we've got Elisa and Elisa, I hate that view. Um, how bad is Laura's pretty bad. Elliot's not great. But we really need to get a guy out. So she's going to do that. And that guy should be getting pretty close to going down. And he missed Elliot, and Elliot counters, so that's good. Um, Elliot, do you have a stone yet? No, you do not. Um, do you have an item? If I do, I went right past it. Crispy pizza. And that is 1,200 points, and he's not down quite that many points yet. So I think... We're going to do Resounding Beat again. And Resounding Beat gives us that healing and defense. Green doesn't have a Firebolt still. I always check. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to check. And he attacks. One is down. And Laura is up. Laura is on her feet. This is fantastic news. So, we're going to let Elisa come in, and she's going to use her flame arrow. Here we go. And she missed. That was so cool. Um, we're going to do a regular attack. I just want to see. Because regular attacks can do some good stuff. And linked. So they get multiple attacks per turn, which is nice. Very helpful. Um, so we are going to double check. Still hasn't picked one up. We're going to attack. And he hits Reen pretty hard. I can do this. You can! And Elliot picked up some healing, so that was good. I'm not just worried since there's just one of them. Uh, this helps. As long as their healing is manageable, I can keep doing this. Right, so that going. worked out pretty good. Doing pretty good. Got some money. No level ups this time, but we can't have level ups every time. Um, we've got a box. No anything in the box. And it's a treasure chest. It's a treasure chest. So let's see. A coral ring. So we've got that. And then we can go back, basically the way we came from. Kind of speed running here. I'm sure it looks probably weird on the screen. And we've got these beetle type creatures. Um, attack. No crafts. Let's try a blue lullaby. It's supposed to be like a sleep spell, but it also does some pretty good damage. And we've got leaf cutter. Can we get them both? We can. I get a link attack with Elisa. My turn. Huh. And Elliot, linked attack. Right. Um, Elisa is going to hit this guy, hopefully, and take him out. Oh, 10 points short. That's kind of a bummer. But, you know, it is what it is, right? Um, we're going to let him... 
I'm gonna go after this guy. Oh, it was that guy. I turned myself around. Get rid of that guy. And she's gonna attack. And he's gone. So we got some experience points. So we still got a ways till every anybody can level up yet. Um, Steve, is my volume okay for you? Is the mu the music's not too low, too too high? Um, I didn't do a sound check today. I forgot. If it's okay, just let me know. Um. All right, so I'm gonna take a look at the map. So I've got myself turned around here. I know I don't. I'm gonna keep going around to the left first and see what's over here before I go to that next section of the park. I picked up some things over here. And picked up some goodies. Oh, here's a chest. And I didn't have to fight anybody to get to that chest. That was always nice. And... I'm gonna take a quick save. Even though it does automatically save every so many minutes. Um, so now we're entering the Nature Park Part 3. And wow, look at that part up there. That is crazy. There's one, two, three, five. There's five in that one area. I'm kind of afraid to find out what that is. Because normally one enemy, when you go to fight them, um, it can turn into, you know, anywhere from one to five or six, sometimes a little more opponents. What the heck is that going to be? Holy Toledo. Um... That is... Oh, wow. I'm a little nervous about that, I gotta say. Just how deep does this forest go? Exactly. We Elliot. must be pretty far in now. I'd imagine we're almost there. Alright. Now, we're gonna go to the left and around first. I saw an enemy over there. It's one of those beetle things. And we snuck up on it, so we get to go first. And I'm going to use Motivate on all of my people. And then Elisa, we're going to let her take the first attack. Alright, and then he has got his resounding beat, which again raises defense and has a healing uh, capability to it. So we want him to use that to help everybody. It's always good. Um, we are going to use, ooh, we can use Earth Cleaver. Uh, Earth Cleaver can hit more than one enemy at a time. Just trying to see, so I can get, it looks like three of them maybe here. I only got two. That's okay. Alright, Rain is looking like he's gonna need some healing here. Is it my turn yet? Oh, that was nice. Um, so, we're gonna use Leaf Cutter on these guys. One. It's my turn. Okay. Now she is going to use, just because I don't get to use it very often, she's going to use her Blessed Arrow on the ring. Thanks. And he is doing much better now. And we've got Elliot. And we're going to use Blue Lullaby. And we can get three of, oh, maybe four. Let's just use these guys with that attack. One's out. Of course. See this guy? He's out. That's that. 
Let's keep moving. All right. Good job, guys. All right. I'm take a look at the map. And everybody looks pretty good right now. So we're going to go and see what's in this corner. Apparently a treasure chest. Ooh, this is a fancy chest. Aha! I should have known. I've not seen one quite like that before. So let's motivate everybody. I'm mostly worried about those gorillas. Gorilla rams. Alright, so we have Earth Cleaver, and we're going to use Earth Cleaver on these three guys right here. Oh boy. Alright, now, we don't have any of those attacks, and nobody... Actually, Rain could use healing, so she's going to use Blessed Arrow. And we can kind of get everybody in there. That's a pretty handy thing to have. Um, we are going to use Resounding Beat. And that gives everybody that defense again and some healing capabilities to it. Or do we have... We have Fireball. Alright, so who? He's 2098. So I'm going to use it on that guy. Well, they're all coming after Reen. Earth Cleaver again. And we can get these three. So let's do that. Comes after Laura. And. Okay, so Laura is on the ground. And other people need some healing. We're going to do the Blessed Arrow again. Hang in there. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Hail our friends. Right. And... We've got... Oh, he doesn't have one yet. Never mind. Um... Crafts Blue Lullaby. We're gonna hit as many of these guys as we can. Go. And we've got Firebolt. So that guy's got 691. That one's still pretty high. Going after Laura again. Wow. It's my turn. Oh, she can't do Blessed Arrow again. And oh, she, but she can do one of these now. Intensive Heat. All right, we're going to go for this guy. Eh. If I remember correctly, this spreads out over a wider area. Um, Firebolt on the Gordy Chief, or Gorilla Guy. Oh no, Laura, it's getting knocked out. Perhaps resounding beat all of our friends. Huh? 
Wow, that was a good one. Elliot. Alright, attack. Arts, firebolt. Perhaps we get Blessed Arrow. And put it and get all of our friends here. Laura to wake up. Do we have an item for that? Paralysis. It restores consciousness. Apparently I can't use that on her. Except KO. And we've got pizza. Hmm. All right, so we can't use that on her either. It's hard to see. Give it up, everyone. Oh no, Elliot's down. Here we go. He can't use Firebolt. But he can use Leaf Cutter and get both of them. She can't use Blessed Arrow, but she can use Heat Wave. Let's go. Huh? All right, that was pretty good. Oh boy, still no Firebolt. Leaf cutter, both of them. Oh, Sorry, Elliot's down. All right, attack. Arts, heat wave. Helpful. Here we go. Arcus, oh no, she's on Pretty Birds. All right, we got rid of the gorilla guy. Wow, that wasn't cool.
That's the power of the eight leaves. All right. Rhea's closer. They're all closer to leveling up, actually. And his link with a less a like keep saying less well. Lisa's getting better. Oh, that's pretty cool. We'll get some money. We obtained heat wave. Alright. So we're going to look at arts. And he doesn't have anything for healing there. So that's not good. Revives one ally and heals a small amount of HP. Well, that's good. It's nice to know. And in passion, raises spirit, restores 20 CP for four turns. All right, interesting. All right, so I think I have to see what items I had. I know I had. Healing set prepared by the church. I can use that. Who needs the least? Rain is good. And the rest all need like a lot of points. So I'm gonna give this to Elliot. Uh, actually, Elisa, because she has the least there. And then we've got horrible energy. Paralysis. Repair a neutralized orbment. That's interesting. Alright, and then we had a crispy pizza. I give one to Elliot. This is, it had no effect. Why? Use, let's try Laura. Well, it restores 1200 HP. Hmm. Now, sometimes I've done this. I've said use. And it's worked. I'm not sure why it's not working right now. Just looking to see what else. Visual impairments. Apartment, relax. I hate to use that, but I don't see where I have a whole lot of choice. Let's use Elliot. Because I want to have everyone at least reasonable, and if I can't use the pizzas to give them their uh, HP, you know, refill, basically. I gotta have something. Alright, so we're gonna go back around to the left. The chest. We fight somebody? Oh, we just got something. Nice. And around the end to this was an enemy. I remember it on the map. Oh, and we have the panda bear guy. Attack. Motivate our group. Let's do this. Lamberge. Turn to flames. Link attack. Oh, I have to redo Elliot and Laura. Oh no, she got knocked out already. My turn. Shit, Tweety Birds. 
is she does have Tweety Birds above her head. LB Link goes to their link is now restored. But geez, Louise, we've barely even been fighting and he doesn't have anything for that. He does now have something for this. So we can use that on Laura. Oh, did I hit Rain? How did I hit Rain? Rain's really my turn. It's my turn. Turn to flames. Turn to flames. Alright, one down. Here we go. And he missed the bear. Tag. It's my turn. Okay. Nice that worked out pretty time. well. Same to you. That was great. High five. Good job. Pinching ever closer, more money. And we're still got some people in some pain over here. Which isn't good for that big group of people around the corner over there. Um just want to make sure he didn't pick anything up. Arts. So he doesn't have any of that. Orbment. Arts. She doesn't have anything. Because this one heals HP. But she also needs the blue Septith or whatever it's called ports for that um, still learning this game this got a lot of stuff to learn here um, let's look at Reen he can't and Laura only has firebolt so that leaves us with items so this is a healing salve. And we can use that on Laura needs it the most. And let's see if we can use the pizza this time. We can. I'm gonna leave Reen because I'm hoping that Elliot will be able to heal him at the beginning of whatever we have coming up around that dark and scary corner. Um, this on the map went back to where we came from. So I just wanna take a quick run over here and look for things like, oh, chests. Nothing there. And that was it, it was a very short little diversion. So we're gonna run around this way now. And over here is where the bad things are. Oh, it's jellyfish. And probably more, because that's a fancy looking chest. Well, not as fancy as the last one. Anyway, I should have surprised him first, but I was too busy talking. Um, so we're gonna use Motivate for our group. And... Attack. Craft. Lamberge. Turn to flames. Turn to flames. <laughs> and we've got Elliot. 
who now hopefully oh no he doesn't have one i thought he had well i think i used it all right attack so oh, crafts i mean we're gonna do resounding beak because it has healing Keep it up, everyone. in it so hopefully that will help We've got Earth Cleaver, and we're going to go for these two since those are right in her sight. Here we go. Okay, Ring again, needs healing, hello. Um, we're going to do Leaf Cutter. And it looks like we can hit. Oh, we're gonna hit these two. Okay. Nice. Elliot. Still no healing? No. That was kind of, of a funny attack. Um attack. Oh, she looks like she can get all three of them. Nice. Good job, Laura. That was awesome. Triple kill. Nice. Money? I did it! I did it! Watch out, guys. And we have more. So this is probably going to happen like a gazillion times in a row. Um, so... Arts, Golden Sphere, attacks enemies with magical orbs. Oh, let's start with this guy. Crafts, we can't do resounding beat. We don't have healing, so we can only straight up attack. a funny attack. Alright, and we have got... I wonder if we can... get to home. Okay. Alright, Elliot. Turn to flames. Burn. My turn. Oh, he can't do physical attacks because he did whatever he did to him, and he can't use that. Alright, we can use resounding beat now. Give it up, everyone. My turn. Alright, Laura. Alright. I 
can do this. Nice. Good job, guys. <laughs> Is everyone okay? Is everyone okay? <laughs> Their voices. Alright, so apparently we didn't get any any tactical bonuses that time, but that's okay because we still won. Right. Elliot, level up. Yay! Uh, it's a treasure chest. Behind more mushrooms. <gasps> this was kind of just roaming around. To fear. Right. Yeah, so we've got attack. Yeah, because she doesn't have any of those right now. So, Flippage. That's such a cool bow. I love that bow. Uh, still nothing there. We can motivate. No. All right, let's do this. Helps everybody. My turn. And Laura. We're going to Earth Cleaver and we can hit almost all. We'll do these three here though. <laughs> and Elliot. Elliot is going to do resounding beat. Give it up, everyone. I shouldn't say do. He's going to use. That's a pretty decent hit on Reen. All right, and Lisa. Still nothing here. Flamberger. Ah! Having issues with that, okay. Huh? No. No. That's the one. How do I keep going past it? <sighs> that kind of thing, huh? My turn. All right. Let's attack for leaf cutter. We can get. Can we get these three? No, these guys. There. Go. I got you. Nice. Good job. My turn. All right, Elliot. Go. Another chance. I got you. Right. And Elliot is prevented from moving. Uh, not moving, but attacking. Physical attacks. So I'm just gonna move him, like, over here for a minute. My turn. Huh? Alright. You still have a lot of training to do. Yes, yes, we do. Alright, we got two level ups. Rena and Elliot, I think it was. Nicely done. Oh, Elisa. Rena and Elisa. And Laura. So I can see, is that I, a treasure chest? It is after we fight Enemy a side. couple dozen Take more mushrooms. I can do this. I can do this. Still nothing here? Nope. Turn to flames. Turn to flames. Now. Go. My turn. Here we go. And leaf cutter. Go. I got you. Of course. Huh. All right. Getting there. Heal those guys up a little bit, hopefully. Of course. Now. I'll take you up. All right, one more. 
Pretty good. It's my turn. Turn to flames. Turn to flames. No. Right. All right. right let's One more going. after this. Yep. One more. Enemies ahead. Have to fight. Go. There. Right. Turn to flames. Burn. Burn. Right. Where those mushrooms look like the carnival rides. I've said it like I don't know how many times. So I think about when I see them. Is that they look like carnival the carnival rides with the swings that you can go on. Right, poof. Let's poof you. My turn. That's okay. the last one. Unless something pops out of the chest or appears out of nowhere. Oh, a treasure chest. Yeah, we've said that like 20 times. We had to fight everybody to get to it. We got a golden sphere. And boxes regenerated. Alright, so. Second, I've got a phone call. Appointment reminder, yay me. And since I have my controller down, take a drink of water while I'm waiting. Alright. So, we look at our map. I'm just got that top section up here to go to. So we're gonna follow this around. Just run double check. It looks like there's a monster up here. Or something. An charging station. <gasps> Just what we needed. We must be in the most remote region. Why does it do that? Oh, you can do the other stuff. So let's rest. And we can customize weapon. Customize. So I customized his. Let's 
so I need extra stuff and somebody told me that like the weapon shops like you can go to the ornament shops but like if you want to go to a weapon shop which it's showing you need a weapon for that and you can't use the one you have apparently or whatever so you have to find these shops to um, buy new ones to be able to do these things with so that's interesting I might download but I don't know if it was working or not and then equip so he's got that weapon I haven't really bought a whole lot of extra stuff yet I need to work on that um Let's do it modify quartz. So I've got 200 Mira. And tells me how much some of these things cost. So I'm worried about. Let's just revise one ally and heals a small amount of HP. That to me seems like. Like these things are something I could use. Tear or tear. Looking to see what other moves are available, so there's a bunch of stuff that I don't, don't think our people can use quite yet. We can use Firebolt. And we've got these things up here. I don't see anything that is under Laura's area at the moment. Um, so I'm going to just save the money that I have. Open a slot, yeah. Insufficient Interesting. Get some more bunnies. And oh, here's a box. Nothing in it, of course. And we are. We did actually. Not go too far. And save. And then let's go through here. We're in the depths now. There they are. 
<laughs> Not bad for a night's work. And if those idiots don't withdraw that petition, we'll be able to make even more. Don't get carried away now. We get a reward for all this anyway. We're making out just fine as it is. Still, who were those guys? The provincial army seemed happy to go out of their way for me. No idea. But then, I can never figure out what that man's thinking. None of our business either. We just need to be ready to abandon this place at a moment's notice. You're not going anywhere. What? Who's there? <gasps> we are. We're coming to get you. Oh, look at those students from yesterday. The students from yesterday. Oh my goodness, how dare they? I know I locked the gate. Hey, Don't Park Ranger. Me <laughs> Don't tell me you broke in. Oh yeah, you're gonna criticize them breaking in, seriously? <gasps> Indeed we did. Indeed. It looks like the stolen goods are all here too. We caught you red-handed. <sighs> Let's take them out. They're just kids. It should be no <laughs> and since we're all alone out here, ain't nobody gonna see a thing. Ain't nobody gonna see a thing. Hope you're ready for the beating of your lives. <laughs> I highly doubt we'll be the ones to endure a beating here today. As long as we make good use of the Arcus's combat links. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. Here we go. Bring it on. Alright, let's see what kind of things we're dealing with with these guys. Motivate. All right, let's do this. Yeah, leave it to me. Huh. Huh. Good job, Elisa. And we've got the sounding beat for our group. Give it up, everyone. Apparently I can't kill the other ones. Turn to flames. I can just knock him out. No, it just says no, so I must only be allowed to knock him out. And that guy's asleep. I love it. Crafts, armor breaker. And, and they're down. That's that. Let's keep moving. So what do we have? More money. This has got to be some kind of joke. How pitiful. That barely even qualifies as a warm-up. Oh, hey, Mitch. How are you? Hang on. I just, at the same time, my chat came bot back on. I got a bot coming in here. So let me get rid of the bot. Of course, it interrupted me right in the middle. And... Actually, we got two bots. Let me do the other one. Holy Toledo! What the heck?
I just got my entire chat spammed by, or spammed by bots. Wow, I wish my moderator was on today because this is a lot. I'm so sorry, Mitch, you just got here and it's going to take me a minute to get all of these things out of here. That's insane. Sorry, I've still got like a whole list. It's incredible. Yours is like, so far, other than Steve's, which was earlier, is the only legit message I've seen come in. Damn. But. But. I've never, I mean, I've seen a few come in, but I have never seen my entire chat just spammed like this. I'm appalled. It's appalling. How dare they? I'm trying to play a game here. They're ruining it. I could probably message Rose. I don't know if she's out of work, though. She might still be at work. Um. Mm hmm. Damn. This could take me for freaking ever. Man. Wow. Well, I'll see. Yeah, they're chilling out. I've still got a bunch more that I need to get through. Let's see. Insane. Alright, then. I'm gonna tell Rose when I talk to her later and be like, You will not believe. Go count them. Go in the thing and count them. <laughs> She's gonna be like, shocked. Oh, um, yeah, it's a ton of bots, right? Wow. I'm stunned. It's like somebody was mad at me and targeted me. I don't know. It's probably just a massive coincidence. So I don't want to sound paranoid or anything. I don't want to do that. Stop. Um, oh my gosh. It's a good, I should have been counting these. I'll have to leave this chat open and go back and actually count how many of them there are after. Man. It takes a lot longer because it's on my phone. Uh, the chat's on my phone because I'm on a laptop. Um... Oh, I apologize for the delay. And so much as you can see, I just finished be defeating these guys that stole all the things in town. And so then I have one more monster that I know that I have to go kill. I don't know what happens after these guys, so I guess I'm going to find out. Wow, that's nuts. Alright. Getting there. We're getting there. I think. Bam. I wanna become famous. No, I don't. I just wanna make affiliate and play games and have fun. Leave me alone. 
Alright, so we've got Mitch. Yeah, they all say pretty much some version of the same thing. Oh, you're, you're 29. Oh, thank you for counting them. Holy Toledo. Um, Alright, let me get my chat down to the bottom so I can actually see it when you type now. Since yours is the only name I can see in there besides all the grayed out ban, ban, ban. 29 times. Take a drink of water before I start again. So, yeah. I just defeated these guys and seeing what's next because I have no idea. Um, I've been playing for a little over an hour. I'm going to play for a little while. I'm going to try to finish Keldig, um, which means finishing up whatever this involves and then whatever the monster is out in the highway. Um, and then I have company in town, so that's my plan. Um, plus, I don't know if my friends are supposed to play Jackbox games tonight, but I don't know if I'm going to get to do that or not. We'll see. Um, how pitiful that barely even qualifies as a warm-up is what Laura said last. Well, when a used to instructor Sarah's training exercises, warm-ups take on a whole new meaning. <laughs> that's very true. Bottom line, we won, fair and square. I'd suggest you surrender yourselves and apologize to everyone in the Grand Market for all the trouble you've caused. And we'll be returning those stolen goods to their rightful owners, too. We would also be very interested to learn who hired you. Uh, you must be out of your damned minds if you really think you've won. Hmm? Elliot? What's wrong? I, I don't know. I just... By the way, Mitch, I don't know if I told you, but my... I bought all of the rest of the games in the series because they were on sale. Did I tell you that? I can't remember. It's just to get... It, things... Days blur together after a little bit. Um, <laughs> I'm just... I'm sure you know. Um, and then... Yeah, so I got them. I got them for Ruby, my daughter, and uh, let's just say Ruby's not sleeping much because this is all she's been doing all night long, so it's kind of funny. Um, so Ellie's freaking out. I, I don't know. And I've also gotten wrapped up with playing Phasmophobia, which you probably saw that on Discord too, which is fun. Scary, but fun. I just thought I heard the sound of a flute. <gasps> oh, it's like a Pied Piper. Oh no. Huh? What was that? <laughs> what was like that? The cry of an enormous beast. What's happening? Oh no. It's coming this way. Another dinosaur? Ooh. Grunosia? Grunosia? <laughs> Boom. Oh, it's huge. Oh, wow. That's a lot of hours, Mitch. That's a lot of hours. And that guy, yeah, I think he might be kind of hard. Just a guess. I believe we're dealing with the ruler of this forest. Hmm. What would you suggest, Reen? <sighs> well, they may be thieves, but we can't just leave them to die. We're going to have to fight it. Understood. Uh, all right. Videos help us. This looks tough. Careful. Oh my gosh, and they've got those guys with them too? Right. Wow. That's rough. Resounding beat. Keep it up, everyone. I get it. Ooh, what's that? Ring can you now use flame slash his S craft. Oh, 
He can also now use S brakes like Laura. Cool. Okay, that was cool. That was really cool. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> that was fun. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, what do we have with this? Let's try that on him. Yeah, Laura's is wow. And the animation for it is just so cool. And stop knocking my people out! That makes me really mad! Especially Laura. Wow. Oh no! Oh no! Um... I can do this. like that view. Oh no. Stop it! Pissing me off. <laughs> She just stood up for Pete's sake. And he can't. Okay, he can heal. Yeah, I can see that. Wow. It was bad enough when I thought I had just the one guy, but then to have all these other guys too? And this knockout thing is... I'm sorry. Oh. It's literally killing me. Literally. If that was a good decision or not. I can do this. Huh? Hang in there. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. 
Oh no. She's like... She's like 35 points from dying right now. Oh my god. I don't know. It'll probably be wasted because she's gonna die. Why don't you. Mm. Oh no, everybody's unconscious or dead. Can't use it on them. I can only use it on me. I can't use it on me. Huh? I think I'm in trouble. That was bad. Does it let you level down the monsters again here if you die like before? Because everyone's dead now. The party was wiped out. Oh, that's so depressing. Weaken enemies and retry. Watch out. This is a tough one. Alright, everybody's links are still in place. Crafts, Earth Cleaver. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if that would happen or not. Alright, we get resounding beat. Can you get your S attack? My turn! Now don't knock out Laura. I'm so sick of Laura getting knocked out. It is really annoying the heck out of him. <laughs> Why? Oh good. And there's Laura unconscious. Again. It's frustrating when your phone is broken and not acting up. Or not acting right, I mean, not acting up. Oh my gosh. Stop picking on her. Boy, they really hate Laura, don't they? All the battles I've had since I started today, they have all gone all out to take Laura out of this thing. Like, no joke. Um, I opened up port slots. I didn't realize what I was doing, so I, I opened up some for Reen, and I think, I think maybe either Elliot or Elise, Elisa, I forget who was next in the line, and I didn't, stupid me, I didn't realize how much money I was spending. So instead of opening like one per person and then going back, um, I've done it, but I'm missing something when I do it, so I'm doing something wrong. But anyway, I op opened, excuse me, the hiccups now, a bunch for Reen, and I opened some for either Alyssa or Elliot. I was, I still think it's Alyssa. Um, so, anyway, we've got Elliot up and... Crafts. Let's try this. Alright, and...
Ugh. It really frustrates me. I can do this. Oh gosh, that 12 hours, jeez. Um, I would love to actually. Um, but I'm probably not gonna be able to do it today because by the time I get through, hopefully, knock on wood, this part, I'm gonna have to go back out and visit with my family. So they had some stuff that they were doing, but um I can't stay back here for too too long without all heck breaking out basically. Um what am I I'm confused, sorry. Heat wave. Yeah, because, I mean, I ha I know I have the open slots in there. I think I just have to go when I get a moment and actually see what ports I have to put into those slots, is what I'm thinking. But, yeah, I definitely, I need, I need a little bit more um, in the understanding of that department. How, how about that? Um... Probably, because right now I'm just playing it by ear, and like a lot of stuff I'm gradually getting, but it's probably a little on the slow side as far as helping me. Um, with Ruby playing it, and she, like I said, she plays all the time, she might know more. Like the one thing she did tell me, because I specifically said don't tell me anything unless I ask. Um, and I did ask her one question, but it was more of, hey, after I finish the quests that these guys are on, um, do I do the quests that the other team was on? And she said no, which is like, okay, I wasn't sure. Um, Elliot, Laura needs healing, and she needs healing pretty bad. Please tell me you have healing. Laura. Um, but she did tell me something about the weapons stores, the actual weapons stores, being hidden. And you have to try to find them. So I haven't really had a chance because I've been wrapped up in this, uh, these tasks to really go look for the weapon shop or figure out that kind of thing yet. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that there's a lot of powers that my people have that I'm not taking really full advantage of yet. Because I'm still figuring out what I'm doing. Um, okay, what have we got? Um... Uh, okay, got it, gotcha. Yeah, I haven't really, like, done that. Yeah, I had a feeling that might be the case, because, I don't know, like, even, like, Reen, when I first came here, told me he had ta uh, tasks, oh my gosh, attacks that... I can't use they're not in his menu and I have a feeling that has something to do with it so figuring out how to correct that is is the thing um, okay so we are on I gotta get I hate some of the views they put you in um,
Alright, we got one of them down. Alright, Laura, we can do that. That dude. That was not who I meant to hit, but he's dead, so I guess I'll take it. I can do this. Um. <laughs> Hang in there. You have my face. <laughs> you know, the hard time playing the game is the first time, and that's what my one friend who's a big streamer I mentioned to, um, you know, she was just like, just play it, because there's a, not a lot of new people playing certain games, and that would be really um, good to stream and to, and to do. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Um... I don't want to use that. I want to save that for other stuff. Um, so that's what's happening is, is that somebody who's played the game, like you, is you know watching and helping somebody like me who, who is just like, oops, hang on, my power brick just fell, and it's trying to pull my whole setup away from me. Um, you know, trying to help me out because I don't know, but that's also part in part, the reason that I'm trying to play an older game and a newer game. Um, so then I can play the older game that I know without too much problems. Yeah, and I so appreciate that because like when I'm playing Fire Emblem or whatever, there are a few things that I forget about that game, but it's usually like where hidden items are and things like that. Um, but this, you know, when you're learning a new game, the first time is, especially when it's as in-depth as this, is pretty intense. Um, Alright, so we've got Laura. And Laura's only got 58 right now. And... We're gonna do this. It's my turn. kind of cruddy. Whoa! Hopefully he doesn't get to do that a whole lot more. Um, you're getting heat wave. Oop. And you're getting that. I talk like it's a different character, but... Deadly cry. Whoa. Huh? Hmm. Look at everybody. Right. 
Let's go. Jeez. This guy's no joke. Well, that was really confusing there for a minute. Yeah, that's what I was hoping, is that once I got through that, now that my power brick is back up, I've got to rearrange everything now that that battle is over. Um, you know, because usually once you do one in the series, they kind of they add some new stuff in. But at least you have the basics, and those usually are consistent. So I'm hoping that's going to be what happens. Um, Angel reached level two. Automatically recover from knockout. Recover 10% HP and CP plus 10. Activates once per battle. Arts Fortuna. Recover 25% HP. CP plus 25 activates once per battle. Huh. Brave, reach level two. Begin battle with strength raise. One turn of strength 25 plus. Nice. Forte. Begin battle with strength raise. Two turns of strength raise. 25%. Money! I did it! I did it! Yay! <sighs> and we're all exhausted now. Uh, that was kind of terrifying. Yeah, like me playing Phasmophobia at 1 o'clock in the morning with my family. Yeah, that was scary. I thought we were done for. Uh, the ones like that just happened. See, because that happened with a couple of my other characters, but then they don't show up in the menu. So that's kind of what confused me about it. Because, like, I think Reen had a couple. And I was like, well, it said he had this or this, but why am I not seeing it? And it didn't make sense to me at the time. So I guess, I don't know, maybe with this game I'm just a little slower picking up, but like I said, it's, it is, I like it that it's intricate and has a lot going on. Um, I compare it like in a way to Skyrim is that you have so many different races and so many different things that go on with the different races. And then you have the different classes, you know, what are they? Are they a mage? Are they whatever? You know, and on and on and on. And so it, it, it seems to me more in intricate. Everyone has one master quartz, and you can mix and match the smaller basic quartz. Okay, that's what I thought. So I did get that right. It's just that I'm not, I haven't figured out the swapping of them, I guess. Still, at least we were able to defeat it. Now we just have Reed, one more monster to beat. What was that skill you just performed? Oh, it was something I've been working on for a while. Oh, just a little something I picked up. This was the first chance I had to put it through its paces, though. I definitely feel like I'm getting the hang of it now. I see. <laughs> you really are amazing, Reen. Yeah, you're always there to help us when we need it most. No, that's not true. There's really only so much I can do on my own. We wouldn't have been able to defeat that thing if we hadn't all been working together as a team. This was a victory for Group A as a whole. <laughs> well said. Indeed. Indeed. Unbelievable. Ah, what are these kids even doing? You bastard. This wasn't supposed to happen. Who are you talking about? Uh-oh. Yes, the police. Uh-oh. It seems we have some unwelcome guests. There they are! And they're not alone. Put your hands in the air! Uh. Don't try to resist. 
Why are you surrounding us and not them? Keep your mouth shut. Don't think we're gonna go easy on you just because you're students. <laughs> Looks like all your hard work was for nothing, huh? Sucks to be you. They're not even trying to hide their involvement. Utterly shameless. You're jumping to an awful lot of conclusions. I see two groups of people in a collection of stolen goods, but no indication of which group was responsible. Do you have any way to prove that the four of you aren't the perpetrators? What? Do you intend to frame us? This is preposterous! I'm just telling you that you need to mind your own business and learn your place. Oh, I hate it when people say that. The Kreutzen province is the territory of Duke Alvarea. And I will not have a gaggle of bratty students poking their noses where they don't belong. You will back down now, or we'll be more than happy to arrest you right here and drag you to Berea Hard City, kicking and screaming. Ah, oh, he's a nice guy. Damn. This is ridiculous. I'm afraid you'll be doing no such thing. Huh. What? Who's there? Oh. I was waiting for her and hoping somebody showed up. It's the railway military police. Take it, she's a cool character. Railway military police? Didn't know there was such a thing. Yeah, the RMP. They're supposed to be the most elite unit in the whole of the Imperial Army. The blue haired girl? Icy Maiden. I love it. Why is one of the Chancellor's dogs come here? What is the meaning of this? Rose! Oh my gosh! Go look in your mod stuff. Mitch counted for me. I had to ban like 29 bots. It was insane. The whole chat was spammed with nothing but bots and poor little Mitch. In between, like every so many of them, just trying we were trying to talk while I was banning them. It was nuts. It was nuts. It's like Rose is still at work. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Sorry, guys, and the people that watch us later. I'm talking to my moderator who just got out of work. Oh my gosh, go look how many. It was ridiculous. Anyway, what is the meaning of this? This area is under the jurisdiction of the Kreutzen Provincial Army. Imperial Army has no right to intervene! With all due respect, Keldic is a major interchange station in our railway network. So in point of fact, we have every right to investigate any incidents that occur in this general vicinity. As I'm sure you well know. I know that's what I was telling Mitch. I'm like, she's not even going to believe it until she looks at it, how bad it was. It was ridiculous. Oh my gosh. I was like, hang on, Mitch. It's going to be a little bit before I can play because I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting here manually because it's on my phone banning all the bots. It was so bad. Oh my gosh. I know. Of course, it would be that one time, right? Oh, it's so typical. Um, so, yeah. So I just got my butt kicked and then refought a battle and got through it. And um, I lost my mouse all at the same time. There it is. Okay. Um, and in accordance with our investigation thus far, after having questioned all those connected to the incident, we have concluded that it is impossible for any of these students to be guilty of these crimes. Do you wish to contest this judgment? Uh -huh. hmm. I suppose not. That's right, you tell him. Well then, may I suggest you leave us to do our jobs? The RMP will take responsibility for returning all of the stolen goods to their rightful owners as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> Take that Withdraw. jerk. We're returning to Keldic. 
Yes, sir. Understood, sir. You've got to be kidding me. We had a deal. Take them into custody. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's hilarious. Us. <laughs> All right, yay, go away, jerks. Damned iron blood dog. Yeah, definitely not with the kids. Well, with my family visiting and stuff, my mom had some shows she wanted to watch, and they were kind of snoozing, so I'm like, well, I'm going to go in the bedroom where I can play and not be in anybody's way and worry about the noise factor and all that, so. Damned Iron Blood Dog. Apparently, they don't get along. hair. We all know I like our colorful hair. Mm. <laughs> Thank you all very much for your assistance. Claire Revelt? Revelt? My name is Captain Claire Revelt of the Railway Revelt. Military got Police. It. We're a division of the Imperial Army. I mean, when you're here, I asked you, you know, make sure you ban them if they pop in. I mean, you have work. That comes first. So don't worry about it. I mean, I banned them. It was just unfortunate that it was the first time that they literally spammed the chat like crazy. If it's one or two, it's no big deal. But this, I mean, it took a while to go through all of them and turn them off. So don't feel bad. I mean, like I said, work comes first. That's, that's the priority. So. Um, we're a division of the Imperial Army. And you are the okay. visiting students from Thor's military academy, are you not? Are you not? I love how she talks. And she is very pretty. I'll need to file a report about what happened here. So would the four of you mind accompanying me? I would. I really want to go back out and fight that monster so I can go home. Mitch, do I have to worry about the whole train time thing back to, to school? Is that going to be a big problem? Because I really want to go out and beat that monster. Okay, Rose. Um, it might be later, later. I, I'm not sure if I'm playing Jackbox with Kate. Uh, in group tonight so we'll see um, just depends with my family and I've been in here streaming so we really are grateful for everything you've done today thanks to you the stolen goods have been recovered and those responsible have been found and arrested I can't possibly express my gratitude I'm just glad we were able to help Besides, it was only thanks to the RMP's involvement that we were able to catch the culprits in the end. Oh, there's no need to be so modest. All we did was physically arrest the culprits. The rest was entirely on you. If not for your assistance in stopping the criminals from escaping, we would have missed our chance to intervene altogether. I believe the credit for this achievement is yours, and yours alone. Okay, I was wondering. I mean, I know they weren't mandatory. And this kind of took the place of it being the more important one. But, oh well. I think I got more than enough XP probably fighting those last few guys. Still, I suppose it'd be rude not to accept your thanks. Indeed, you should all be very proud of what you've accomplished here. 
So, can we leave everything in your capable hands from here on out, Captain? Of course. I'm intending to leave a number of our soldiers here for the time being. Rest assured that we'll take care of any further problems that may arise. We are greatly obliged. Still, while your personal loyalties may differ, both the RMP and the Provincial Army are made up of Erebonian soldiers. So I'd appreciate it if you tried not to stand out too much. Your presence may create some anxiety among the locals. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Thank you for your cooperation with our report. I'm sorry to take up so much of your time. Oh no, not at all. And um, we really appreciate you coming to our aid like that. There's no need to thank me, really. In fact, the more I think about it, the more I regret having stepped in at all. Overcoming such an impossible situation was probably meant to be part of your field study, too. To build character, perhaps. What? Yeah, I may be good, but I'm not that good. Uh-huh. There's Sarah. Oh! I instructor? I was wondering when you'd show up. It's been a while, Sarah. That it has. Six months, give or take? Honestly, I had no idea you RMP folks were gonna get involved with this. <laughs> yeah. I suppose you had everything that was happening here figured out all along. <laughs> you overestimate my abilities. <laughs> I did receive a report that suggested there might be trouble here, but that's it. Oh, from your brother, I take it. Nothing gets past you lot. We're just trying to make sure we're prepared to deal with any problems that might arise. But I'm sorry to say I don't have any more time to catch up with you right now. I really need to be taking my leave. Gotta love that phrase. I wish all the taking best to you and the rest of Class 7. I salute you. Right. Was she really part of the military? She sure didn't seem it. Her movements and actions, however, were those of a skilled officer. Highly skilled. Yeah, and the rest of the railway military police seemed really well trained, too. You know her, instructor? You could say that. Anyway, it looks like you've managed to finish up all the tasks I laid out for you. So I think it's about time we take our leave of this place, too. Understood. Do take care, everyone. Give my regards to Principal Van Dyke. And if you ever, if you're ever in the area again, please do come to the market and say hi. You'll be more than welcome. We will. Thank you for everything. Please tell me you don't have to play cards on the way back home. <laughs> Can we just go poof and be home? And she's sleeping. Again, insta sleep. <laughs> she's asleep again. You don't think she's faking it, do you? Hmm, nope. Judging by her breathing, I believe she really is asleep. Well, it sounds like Group B turned out to be a complete disaster. If she had to deal with them, then come back here on the same day, I'll bet she's totally spent. Yeah, good point. Anyone would be exhausted trying to sort that out. It's hard to imagine her actually working hard, though, considering her usual attitude. It does seem as though she's genuinely looking out for us, however. <laughs> so, this is how our first field study trip comes to an end, huh? I think I might have an idea now as to why we're here, though. I had the same thought. Testing the Argus is clearly a big reason for coming here, but it's not the only reason. I think it has more to do with making sure we see everything that's going on with our own eyes. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking too. Learning more about places in Erebonia we've only read about in books, and getting to see the issues occurring in those regions firsthand, just like in Celtic. Indeed. And just as we thought and acted swiftly in the face of crisis this time, so too may we be called upon to do so again. 
These field studies may aim to test and cultivate those skills in preparation for our futures. Exactly. Add to that good judgment, decisiveness, and general conduct, and I'd say we have a pretty clear picture as to why we're out in the field. Basically, we're training everywhere we go. Well, you're about half right. Instructor. I was so certain you were sound asleep. <laughs> what can I say? I can nod off and back on again in the blink of an eye. It's what I do. It's what I do. As you rightly noted, having first-hand knowledge of the areas to which you might be deployed is of tremendous importance. As is the ability to make swift, accurate judgments and solve problems with or without orders. Right. Developing all so these skills asleep. to their fullest hmm, is definitely a major part of why you're undertaking these field studies. Just as I thought. It's an interesting approach, but honestly, I've never heard of any other military academy trying it. Hmm. You say we're only half right, however. Which begs the question, what's the rest of the story? Hmm? Is something wrong? Oh, no, not at all. I was just thinking about what we did during our field study and why we were doing it. All right, controller, why are you not working? Hang on, plugging it back in again. Let's see if it starts working. No. The whole concept seems eerily Let's use my mouse. to the MO of bracers. <sighs> now that you mention it, the Bracer Guild prides itself on protecting civilians over all else. So it seems an unusual source of inspiration for a military academy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've had a lot of comparisons with that as well. But the tasks we were given in Keldic do seem to align themselves quite well with the Bracer's basic philosophy. Yeah, I guess so. Their emblem depicts a supporting gauntlet, and that's pretty much exactly what we've been for these people. Bracers still have branches all over the continent, but you hardly ever see them in Erebonia anymore. <laughs> well, you got me. Which means... supposed to take her seriously when she says things like that and conspicuously falls asleep. Well, whether or not we did in fact get her, it still seems like Bracers are somehow related to our activities here. Not that Instructor Sarah is likely to come clean about our involvement anytime soon. I suppose until she does, all we can do is prepare ourselves in body and mind for our next field study. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Believable snoring. Hmm? Is there something else bothering you? Oh, no. It's just, well, we've been in the same class for a month now. And this whole time I've been kind of keeping you in the dark. What do you mean? You aren't referring to the issue regarding your swordsmanship, I take it? No, it's not that. It's something I've been hiding from you all this time. Oh, no. Regarding my social class. What? Are you saying your family... Yeah, I dodged the question when Machias asked. But technically, I come from a family of nobles. Uh, uh. My hometown is Ymir, in the northern mountains. I'm the son of its ruler, Baron Schwarzer. You're from Ymir? Schwarzer? Now that you mention it... I have heard the name before. <laughs> An honorable family, closely tied with the Imperial family themselves, despite being headed by a mere baron. A mere baron? I, I never would have imagined you might be the son of a noble too. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected you to. I don't act like one. My dad and mom are both quite easygoing individuals. They don't behave like your typical nobles at all. 
And technically, since I was adopted, I don't have any actual noble blood running through me. I'm upper class. So, you... Hmm. Sounds like you've got your own issues to deal with, just like the rest of us, huh? Oh, yeah? <laughs> I don't think of it as a big deal, and I don't want you to think of it as one either. I just didn't want to keep... After everything we've been through these past few days, I owe you guys that much. I mean, you're all going to be a major part of my life from here on out. It's only fair to share as much as I can with you, right? I don't know what to say. You consider us to be major parts of your life? Honestly, has anyone ever told you that you can be way too serious sometimes? Just be sure you reveal your true identity to the others when we get back, too. Oh, I intend to. <sighs> ah, youth. Still, even discounting the strangely perfect timing of the railway military police. That ruler of the forest they ran into in the nature park. Seems to be a harbinger of something big happening behind the scenes. <laughs> exactly, Rose. Oh, what a nice end scene to the little train ride, I hope. Ooh, hype train! Yeah, still not asleep. <clears throat> Man. Oh my gosh, it's almost the Black Knight. I wasn't expecting the Icy Maiden to show up when she did. We may need to adjust our plans to compensate for this interference. That won't be necessary. Be speckled, this was man. not a significant setback. If anything, it provided an unexpected bonus. Giving us a valuable glimpse into the means through which the RMP and Intelligence Division coordinate their efforts. With both organizations posing sizable threats to our operation, that information alone makes this all worthwhile. A valid point. It's like Darth Vader. The Black Might Knight meets Darth Vader. Of course. The tyrant must yet face the merciless hammer of judgment. Yes. May his lofty ambitions be crushed to dust and swept away. Chapter 1, Unconventional Studies. End. So I'm not... I'm sad I didn't get to that monster, but... Oh well. Um, current rank... AP... So I'm like... Almost to level B5. It says I'm for AP44 and AP45 is rank B5. I'm getting there. Keep up the good work. <laughs> good showing, everyone. I got a B? Only a B? That's not cool. I wanted better than a B. Class seven's bonds have been strengthened. Their link level has gone up. They've reached link level two. And they've reached link level two. And they've reached link level two. Save. Okay. So, I think this is a good place to leave off and start 
the next time. Yeah, I figured it probably did, but I, I wasn't sure if it was going to let me go back to that monster or, um, because it kept, the story kept pushing that the market story was more important than the monster, which wasn't a required task. So I was hoping I'd get a chance to go back and fight it, but understanding, you know, that I didn't get to, I mean, yeah, be, you know, it is what it is. But had I bought, bought, fought that other monster, then I might have been one more level up uh, on that scale, which is, I don't get that scale. Like, I get the leveling up part, because that's obvious. It's just, I don't understand where they came up with that. Just be safe. Do the optional first, regardless of what they say. Yeah, well, I did the the wallet one first because it was also intertangled with the the marketplace problem one so that's why I went ahead and did that one but uh yeah I didn't know it was gonna well I, I don't know I, I I'm taking it because they did this to me the last time that I you know at least it gave me the hey by the way if you do this you know, you're not going to be able to go back or you're going to be done or it's going to advance to the evening kind of a situation. Um, if It seems like it's done that a couple of times now. So that must be, it's. I'm assuming, presuming that that's its routine that it kind of does uh, as things go along. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. And boy, is it strangely quiet because the computer is on the screen and there's no noise in here. <laughs> Rose, you and I are so much alike. It's it's hilarious sometimes. Um, and I'm just, you know, I'm an all-A student. I don't like getting it less than an A. It's just my life. Um, all right, or was, because, you know, I'm done with all that. Um, yeah, okay, I'm glad you said that, Mitch, because I, I, I thought that was setting a trend that I was going to have to make sure I watched out for. Um, going forward. And you confirmed it, so thank you. Um, all right. Well, guys, I've been in here a couple of hours, and it is time to go have dinner and go hang out with my family. Um, so, uh, Mitch, thank you for your help, as always, and hanging around. And Rose, thank you for jumping in and being here. The formula runs for all four games. Good to know. Absolutely. Of course I did. Rose, I was sick for college finals and called my professors and they were like, listen, you could take a zero on this test and still get an A. You're fine. So yeah, that's kind of the way I, I, I do things. Anyway, I've got a phone call coming in. I'm going to have to grab that too. So I just want to say thank you again. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, for those of you that may be around but aren't in the chat, if you can give me a follow, I'm trying to make affiliate. I am getting closer every day to getting the magic number of 50, and every stream I'm getting a little bit closer on my view counts uh, to being able to, uh, to achieve that goal. Um, I also have my Discord linked. Um, and Lovely Rose also was supposed to link her stuff up. If you're interested, um, you can check her stuff out as well if you did that, Rose. Um, so, yeah, Mitch, it, it's going to be hard. Um, we'll figure out between your work schedule and uh, with my family here um, when we can kind of go over that because... That would definitely be something to maybe have a Discord call over and maybe talk about some um, when I'm not in the game and not streaming. Um, just some of the, the court stuff and the game mechanics and things like that, that there are some finer points that um, maybe Mitch can help me pick up a little bit sooner than kind of keep learning through trial and error with stuff that might help me a little bit sooner. Um, so we were going to try to discuss that a little bit at some point. So at any rate, 
my sign-offs, I think, I swear to gosh, they get longer and longer every time I do them. So once again, thank you. If you can, give me a follow. If you don't mind joining the Discord, we have a lot of interesting stuff in there. And have a great night. Take care, and I will talk to you. Oh, what is Rose's stuff? We'll talk about it on Discord later. It's, yeah, we talked about it the other day, but we'll talk about it later. Okay, thanks, guys. Have a good night.